guys, we're here at our 51 South main location, Deja Vu in the house. Everybody almost wants to know, hey, chef, what's in that gumbo, and how do you make that roux? How do we get this stuff done? We're going to take you inside of the kitchen, the lab where the magic happens, how we do a seafood gumbo, New Orleans style. Follow me. Hey guys, we're on our way to the kitchen to show you how to make this fabulous gumbo that we do in New Orleans seafood gumbo. We're going to show you the secrets of Deja Vu, baby. We hate it that way right now. Follow me. Hey guys, we're in the kitchen now, doing our fabulous gumbo that we do here, that's famous in New Orleans and all over the world. We're going to start here with our roux. Nothing without a roux. We, in the pot here, we have two cups of vegetable oil. We're going to add our trinity. Bell peppers, onions, red bell peppers, green bell peppers, yellow, and purple onions. Get all that stuff out of the way. I'm going to sweat this a little bit, and we're going to add a couple of, a couple of cups of flour, white flour. And you're going to see how this is all going to come together. But it all starts with a roof, folks. It's very important. Very important. Add a couple of more cups of flour here. And what's going to happen, this is going to tighten up a little bit. This is going to tighten up. We're going to add some water to it. And you got to whisk this real, real good. Some people in New Orleans, it takes them a couple of days to make the roux. But we're going to show you a quick way. We can do gumbo in 30 minutes here. You can leave 20 gallons of gumbo in 30 minutes. That's why I'm ready. We're going to add some water here. Make that happen. About four cups of water to the roof. And you're going to see this come to life. It's going to pick it up a little bit. That's a secret my mom told me in New Orleans a long time ago. So if you want to cheat, let's make this happen. I'm going to show you something, and you can't tell everybody. Don't tell a soul. This is for the people here in the kitchen. Now, you'll get this video by chance, and you're going to know some secrets. How we do it here at Deja Vu. A couple of more cups of water. And this roux is coming together. We're going to add some chicken base, beef base. You can add lobster base, uh, shrimp base, whatever you like here. All the flavoring is going in right now. And you can go on top of the flavor, you can add some more. We got a assortment of herbs here. We have a little tarragon herbs, Italian, basil, a little bit of everything right here. We're going on in, as you can see, it's coming all around the corner. What we're gonna do is add some more water. If I can get Darnell to hand me some more water here, we're gonna rock and roll. There you go, D. D's gonna hand me some more water. We got a liquid heat that's going in. 
Look at crab boil. And as you're going to see in a minute, we're going to go in and ask all raw products. When it says, Chef, how do you do gumbo in 30 minutes? You're going to see. Once the roux is done, it's all over. If we can pan out of this pot, we can see the consistency of this. This is where you want to kind of be, right here. Now, you don't have to stay here all day and take and stir and stir it until it turns to the color of a penny. What we're going to do is add a little kitchen bouquet. There's no flavoring. It's a little coloring that we're going to add. Yeah, and I know all you old time cooks. Oh my God, he's cheating. <laughs> well, you got to cheat a little bit. We don't have all night to get this done. You see the color of this? That roux? Look at that. We're halfway done. Add a little bit more color in there. You can make it a little more chocolate looking if you want. But I like mine kind of bronze. Here we go. And be careful when you add the chicken base, shrimp base, and the beef base, because they look, you know, high in sodium. You gotta be careful because it's a little salty. So I don't really put too much salt in it. I just kind of let it do it up. And you can flavor it the way you want it. You don't have to add any base if you don't like it. But just enhance the flavor. You see the color of that root. We're going in right now. Two pounds of chicken breast. Two pounds of peeled in vein shrimp. Already ready to go. I got gloves on, folks. Don't panic. We got it covered. Don't worry about it. We have... You can add andouille sausage, uh, some regular smoked sausage, whatever sausage that you like. We're going in with everything. This is going to come on around the corner here. And what we can do is add a little bit more water to this, to thin it out a little bit. They're going to hand me some more water. We're going to thin it on out. So if you look down up in here, look at that. Look at the color of that. And then once this is almost done, we're going to add some blue crabs to it. But with gumbo, you can add the kitchen zinc if you like. If you want scallops, you want crawfish, whatever, catfish, anything you want to add to it, you can put it in there. Now it's a little thinner. There we go. Thank you, man. But once that roux is ready, you can turn your gumbo is right around the corner. You guys see that? Chicken and sausage shrimp. It all went in raw. Nothing was pre-cooked. And I'm telling you, we're a few minutes into this thing. So New Orleans, people think this gumbo started in New Orleans. This African, this is an African dish, actually. So we took it from the African, brought it down to New Orleans, and made it our own. So let's, let's read the history, guys. And we're going to add a little filet. I've heard this thing called so many different things. Gumbo fowl. But it's pronounced filet. Gumbo filet at your local markets. Mostly at your international markets you can find gumbo filet. And what we're going to do is add some blue crabs to this. Get all this out of the way, guys. And we rock and roll. Blue crabs, look how beautiful. Already clean, ready to go. Blue crabs. We love crabs in New Orleans. Bam! There we go. Now you see guys, everything went in raw. In about 15, 20 minutes, this is good. This pot of gumbo is ready to serve up. So I hope you enjoy coming to the kitchen here at Deja Vu, man. I'm gonna get rid of these plastic gloves now. I'm about finished, and I'm telling you, get you a nice big bowl of rice, some cornbread if you like. So we use French bread here at Deja Vu. So visit us at 936 Florida, it's our original location, and we're at 51 South Main. On Florida, you can be over there from 11 a.m. to 3 p.m. Monday through Fridays. And here on Maine, we're here from 11 a.m. to 9 p.m. Monday through Thursday. And Friday and Saturday, we're here to 10 o'clock. And on Sundays, we do an all-you-can-eat Sunday brunch. $21 a person. Come out, and we'll make you fat. We're going to fatten you up here, man. We have a great time here at Deja Vu. We're at Deja Vu here on Main Street, 51 South Main, where the numbers are 
505-0212 here on Main. And Florida Street is 901-942-1400. Give us a call. We can take care of all your catering needs. We have a great staff here. Deja vu, where we keep it true to the root. Seafood gumbo. Who that? Who that? All right. Um, bye. Look at you. That. Here we go, guys. Seafood gumbo, man. This is the end product right here. We're gonna scoop it on in. I'll serve it bowl there. Look at this, guys. This is. I wish you could smell this. This is like made the delicious here. Seafood gumbo, man. We serve here at Deja Vu. Deja Vu. Nice picture. With that, I'm hanging around.